All right, welcome to the first patch of Fates set. Um, it's the first time we've actually done a Fates patch. No reading? Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, but let's get into it. Uh, welcome, Chunk Lovers, and I guess everyone else too. We're one patch into TFT Fates, and overall we like where we've started with the set. Looking at the general balance... The theme for this patch is more buffs and fewer nerfs. Many of the underperforming tier 1 and tier 2 champions are getting buffs this patch, while others like Jing and Jinx are getting their spell interactions moved out so they can work properly with items. Yeah, right. Uh, you should keep an eye out on Fortune in this patch. While so far it's proved to be more trick than treat, it's a unique risk reward pr proposition. You should now find more champion spatulas and even more items and even items in your fortune drops we know it's the only thing you care about and it's disgusting yeah true well that's why you'll play space pirates wasn't it uh, perhaps the most impactful shift will be the reduction of tier 4 champions at level 8 partially due to the chosen mechanic and reroll changes tier 4 champions are currently a bit too easy to get to 3 stars considering their power level. However, we still want those champions to remain game-changing at 3 stars. So, instead of nerfing the champions themselves, we're making them more difficult to star up by decreasing the rate at which they show up in your shop at level 8. Ooh, that's interesting. We're also adding more functionality to the combat recap system. You'll now be able to both shielding and healing in addition to damage after each round. Janna and Yumi approve. Let's get into it. Yeah, right. So that's uh so we buff the 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 that's probably the best one. I don't really see people use dusk that often. Um combat recap. Combat recap panel has new capabilities and display total damage, block shields, and healing for your team. Oh, please, thank you. I'm actually happy about this. Remove the extra five seconds of planning per round for the start of each set. Wait. I hope that's throughout the whole planning stage. Because that's... That's actually helpful. Because at the start of round, it, takes like, it feels like it takes forever. Uh, champion shot aided by a chosen mechanic. We're seeing three star tier four champions too frequently for their power level. Uh, we're dialing down their frequency of showing up at level eight to make sure that their rarity is more appropriate. Yeah, which we just read about. Uh, yeah, yeah, all that. So yeah. Actually, that helps out uh, tier two. Yeah. Uh, traits, general balance, cultists three, damage 150, 120, Vigalio, health 1800, 1600. That's. Yeah, not too bad. Probably could. Maybe damage. Not so much health. Maybe damage that he does. Um, I don't play dust much, but spell power 202040. Uh, spell power. Yep, keep shield. He's gone up. That's one of the buffs. Mage spell power. See, I find that them doing mage was interesting because you get Ari, she just insta deletes everyone. So I'm actually really surprised that they have uh, buffed mage that's what they did didn't they yeah spirit attack speed got a little nerf fortune uh, levels also remove all gold drops at high levels of losses I can also drop from five losses oh not too bad um, three gold. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've gotten one gold. But that would be completely different. That'd be on wins, maybe. 
Um, so there you go. All the gold's been increased. Oh, jeez. If you get 45 gold after... 70 gold after 9 losses, that would be something else. Average value, da 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 da, yada yada yada. Champions, tier 1, Diana, number of orbs, 3, 4, 6, 10, 2, 4, 5, 6, 10. So your level 1 and 2, Diana, is better. Sandra, same thing, level 2. Uh, Nami. Oh. That's actually huge. Because if you're playing Enlighten, Enlighten slash Mage, that would be massive. That four second stun, I'd be mad. Because by the time you finish being stunned, you're going to be stunned again. So that's actually huge. Um, vein attack speed, any burst shield, uh, tier 1 and tier 2. I mean, not tier one, tier, level one, level two, um, all that. So early game, not too bad. Uh, Philios, uh, don't think he necessarily needed a change. I think he's pretty, pretty fine as he is. I could be wrong though. Um, Hecarim didn't really play him much, but oh, level two and three has been buffed. Interesting. Um, Jack's speed is 0.65 to 0.75. Oh. Uh, I think that's fair. Oh, something in my eye. I think that's fair, that one. Um, tier 3, Jinx spell. No, actual spell instead of an auto attack override. Oh. Hmm. Hmm, I'm actually surprised they um changed Jinx, but I guess I'll see how that how that actually works. Uh Jing Zhao, so you say you could maybe be strong. I don't think Jing Zhao is that good of a unit at the moment, so Oh, here you go. Spell now properly flows through the basic attack system. No longer heals from hex hex tech unblade, but instead benefits from bloodthirster. Additionally, spell cast will count as a single attack for static shiv and rage blade. So he's still got mana, but yet he's basically not using mana. Am I reading that correctly? Because he's not... Mm. Yeah, okay. I'll see how that goes. Uh, Yumi zooms... Yumi, Yumi zoomies healing. 30, 40, 60 to 30, 45, 75. So, level 3, Yumi is pretty good. Um, same there. Vega now takes low current health instead of lowest percent health. Hmm. Didn't realise they target... I thought it was current uh lowest current health not percent health whoops uh dark loss and damage yeah yeah no, that's fair yeah that probably needed that um that spell power gain on kill uh, <coughs> oh my voice where did it go uh ribbon is getting a nerf which look she's probably not as strong as she was uh, in set three, so I, personally, I didn't think she needed actually nerfing this set just yet. But it right must get the data and show that she is a bit powerful. Um, so that's probably why these changes are in there. Uh, Shen armor fifty sixty lower mana. At both. Uh, taunt. Ooh, eight seconds. Damn. Oh, no, I don't play Shen that much. 
<laughs> so that I'd say that would be good. Uh, TF leaves Sin turn mana out of forty. Um, not. A, mm, I would say I'm a big fan because he kicks people off the map, but when he kicks people, I think it takes forever to get to them. I think. But, yeah. Um, set, very overpowered, um, which is good to see his mana's increased. That's fair enough, all that. Zillion can only cast his ultimate on himself. He may cut, still cast on other Zillions. That's interesting. So if he's the last one there, he's practically just dead. Uh, Luz Echo, 180 to 200, Static Shiv, very, not as powerful as this set, as it was last set. Uh, Sunfire and Cap Cadence, 1 second, 2 seconds. See, what I always think it was 2 seconds originally. Oh well. Um, but, that's fine, I'm not too worried about that. Bugs. Phileas Tyrus will now die exactly when he dies instead of lingering for up to 0.24 seconds. Set will no longer casually walk back onto the stage only to disappear when knocked out by Lee Sin. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I've never seen that, but that is hilarious. Uh, yeah, Yane, Yane can now properly cast Unforgiven while disarmed. Thresh, Warwick, and Xing Zhao click Boxes have been uh, extended vertically to better represent the size of the units. Uh, Nami CC can no longer be overridden by other knock-up effects like Lulu. Uh, Vi can now cast a spell at long range when equipped with a rapid fire cannon. Not that I'll probably ever put rapid fire cannon on Vi, but each their own. And see his shoulder. So, shoulders. Azir soldiers can no longer have 0.5 attack speed, which could cause units to target them with their spells. Interesting. I didn't think they attacked anyway. I thought they just stood there. Uh, Lee Sin will no longer knock out units who are immune to CC. Ah. Well, there you go. There you go. So, it is a small little patch. Not too much done. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope it all went well with my little, uh, first update thing. Oh yeah, it was adjusted. Um, surprised they did mage, especially with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Ari in there. She just sends two bombs out. It's game over. Um, but yeah, overall pretty, pretty happy with what they've done, like that cultist definitely needed to, um, so yeah, that's my first little go at doing, reading through a patch, so, and I know I'm new to the game overall, and League of Legends and all that, so I don't know necessarily all the, uh, units and what they do and whatnot, um, so I hope I had, I had a little bit of an insight to the patch but if not okay but anyway um thanks for watching this feel uninvited left home in west LA.